Hi guys! Good day! This is Teacher MJ and our topic for today is all about the circle, transforming general equation to standard form and then later on we will graph our answer. So without further ado, let's do this topic. Now this is the general form of a circle that's x squared plus y squared plus dx plus ey plus f equals 0. And we transform this equation into standard form. Now, the standard form of a circle, that is x squared plus y squared equals r squared if the center is at 0, 0. If the value of h is 0 and the value of k is 0, so this will be our equation. Now, if we do have the value of h and k, example, the value of h is 2, the value of k is 3, so this will be your equation. Quantity x minus h squared plus quantity y minus k squared equals r squared. So we transform this one into this one. Alright, let's start. By the way, we will answer in our first video, we just need to answer this number one. Our second video, we will be answering this one. So I will put the link on the description below on how to answer if, okay, if the number here in the numerical coefficient of x squared is greater than one. Okay, the, uh, understood that there's one here. Now, if this is and there, there's one here. If this is greater than 1, then what shall we do? Alright, so I will put the link on the description below on how to answer this number 2. Let's focus first on number 1. Okay? Alright, so let's start. So the thing that you will do right here, class, is we need to transpose this 47 from left to right. Alright, so this will be x squared plus y squared minus 2x plus 8y. You transpose this one. This is negative. You transpose that on the right side. Once you transpose, you change the sign. It becomes positive. Next is we need to separate the x variables and the y variables. So this will be x squared, copy negative 2x. You put a parenthesis, then you put a space here because we will need to add a new constant to make this a perfect square trinomial. Plus, you separate the y variables, copy y squared copy plus 8y, you put a space, equals 47. Alright, so next is we need to add a new constant here. Alright, so we need to add a new constant. To add a new constant, so we need to do the completing the square. So what's the, what's the formula, sir? That is b over 2 quantity squared. So our b class, our b right here class is beside the, no, it's the linear term, beside x, that is our b. So b here is negative 2, so negative 2 divided by 2, alright, the formula is divided by 2, b is beside x, the linear term, beside x, squared, so negative 2 divided by 2, that's negative 1, squared, alright, negative 1 squared, it means negative 1 times negative, one that's positive one so therefore you add one on the left side what now once you add one on the left side of the equation you also add one on the right side so this will be now the new the new equation for x x squared minus 2x plus 1 all right so we need another we need to add another constant on this equation so y squared plus no we need to add a new constant so the thing that you will do copy the formula b divided by 2 squared. Alright, so the b here is 8 beside y, the linear term. So beside y is 8. So copy 8 divided by 2 squared. So 8 divided by 2, that's 4 squared. So what is 4 squared class? Could you answer that? That's correct. That's 16. Alright, so 4 squared, it, it doesn't mean 4 times 2. It means 4 times 4. You multiply 4 by itself twice. So you add 16 on this side and you also add 16. So you add 1 on the left side. You also add 16 on the left side of the of this equal sign. Therefore, you also add 1 and you also add 16 on the right side to make the equation balance. Alright? So that's it. Alright, now next, this is a perfect square trinomial. Right? This is a perfect square trinomial. We make it into square of binomial. We need to factor this out. To factor this out, class, very, very simple. So, x squared minus 2x plus 1. To factor this out, 
just get the square root of the first term, square root of x squared, that is x, okay, that is x, square root of x squared is x. The square root of the last term, square root of 1, that is 1. Then you copy the sign of this middle term, that's negative. So you put the parenthesis, then square, that's the answer. The square root of the first term is square root of the last term. Then you copy the sign of the middle term, then get the parenthesis squared. That's the square of binomial of this perfect square trinomial. Okay, the square root of the first term is x, the square root of the last term is 1. Copy the sign of the middle term, this is negative. Then you put the parenthesis, that is squared. So that's it. That is the, the factor of this one. Okay, let's try this second equation. Plus, so the square root of the first term is y. The square root of the last term is 4. Okay, the square root of y squared, let me just write it here. The square root of y squared is y. The square root of 16 is 4. Copy this plus sign, plus, then you put a parenthesis. You put a quantity. Plus sign, then square. That's it. Alright, that's the shortcut there. Because if we do the long method, that's actually okay if you do the long method. You factor this out. Okay, you factor this out, class. If you still remember, you, let's try to check if this is really the, the square of binomial of this equation. X plus 4, we multiply it twice because this is X plus, uh, no, this is Y plus 4 squared. It means that you multiply Y plus 4 twice. Let's check that. Let's do the FOIL method if we get the same answer with this one. Alright, so Y times Y. First, outer, inner, last. Do you still remember the FOIL? Y times Y is Y squared. Outer, y times 4, that's positive 4y. Inner, 4 times y, that's positive 4y. Last, 4 times 4, that's positive 16. Then we combine like terms. y squared, copy. Combine this one, 4y plus 4y, that's 8y. Copy, 16. So same. Same answer with this one. So to make it short plus, just simply... Simply get the square root of the first term, then square root of the last term, then copy the sign of the middle term, then squared. Then you add this one, 47 plus, oh no, 47, this is 17, so 47, or 47 plus 1 is 48 plus 16, 48 plus 16, 4, carry 1, 64. Alright, so that's it class, that's your equation. This is your answer. This is the equation. Now, if the teacher will ask you what is the equation, so this will be your equation. That's it. So that's your equation. Coming from the standard form, x squared. The standard form is x squared. Oh no, sorry. Quantity x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. Alright, now, to get the value of the radius, okay, to get the value of the radius, therefore, this will be, your equation will be x minus 1 squared plus y plus 4 squared equals 8 squared. Right? 8 squared. Why is it 8 squared, sir? Because if you multiply 8 by itself, 8 times 8, that is 64. Therefore, the radius is 8 Okay, the radius is 8. Or if, it, if, it's, if, if you think it's complicated, do not forget this one class. This is the equation now. Okay, this is the same with this one. So 64 is r squared. So r squared equals 64. To get the value of the radius, extract square root both sides. The square root of 64, that is 8. So simple as that. If you want to know the radius, get the square root of this last part. Square root of 64. That's 8. So that's your radius. Same with this one. Alright? But if the teacher will ask you what is the equation, this will be your answer. Okay? So r squared equals 64. Get the square root of r. Or the, get the square root of 64. That is 8. This is the same class. So the radius is 8. Because the equation, it says r squared. So the square root of, no, the square of 8 is 64. So radius is 8. Alright, so the center... So the center class, the center H and K. So the center class H and K. 
So do not forget, this is this is your H, this is your K. Now, if this is negative 1, your H will be positive 1. Do not forget about that, okay? If this is negative 1, your H is positive 1. Get the additive inverse, okay? Additive inverse. Now, if this is positive 4, your K is negative 4. Positive 4, your K is negative 4. And your radius is 8. The square root of 64 is 8. That's your radius. Okay, once again, do not forget, h is, this is negative 1, it should be positive 1. Because if you equate that into 0, just remember, equate that into 0, we need to transpose this 1, and your x will be equals to 1. Transpose. Or just remember this one to make it simple, get the additive inverse. If this is positive and negative, your h is positive 1. If this is positive, your k is negative 1. Get the additive inverse. Alright, so... Let's graph this one. Let's graph our answer. All right. So our answer a while ago. Let us graph this one. Our answer is center is at one and negative four, and radius is eight. So class, can you graph this one? Where's one and negative four? So one and negative four. X. This is H and K. This is X and Y. So our x is 1, positive 1, and our y is negative 4. So 1, positive 1 for x, y for negative 4. This is the center. So 1x, x, this is the positive side on the right side, negative on the left. y upwards is positive, downwards is negative. So 1, 1 and negative 4, therefore 1 and negative 4. x is 1 and y is negative 4. This is the center class. 1 and negative 4. Now our radius is 8, therefore you move 8 units upward, sidewards, downwards, and uh, on the left side, on the right side, upwards and downwards. So you move 8 units, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So this is the point. You move up, you move 8 units upward, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, include the, including the origin, this one, including this part. Move 8 units, 1, 2, Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Alright, and then you connect this one. So, I'm so sorry, we don't have the graphing board. So, if you use graphing paper, I'm sure this will be a perfect circle. So, since we don't have the graphing board, I just use the whiteboard, small whiteboard. So, that's it. You connect this point, this will be your radius equals to 8. So that's it class. That's how you transform general equation into standard form. And then, that's how you graph. That's it. So I'm so sorry for the uh, the circle because our we, we don't use the graphing board. So we don't have the perfect circle. But if you use the graphing paper, I'm sure this will be perfect. So if you like this video, please do not forget to subscribe. You share it to your friends and to your classmates. And you have a great day. Goodbye for now. Do not forget, our next example will be... The, the, the number 2 in which our numerical coefficient is greater than 1. That, that's more complicated. Okay? So, feel free to see the video. Bye-bye.